As we were discussing earlier, Elon Musk might have grand designs in space, but it appears he also has tiny ones here on Earth. Musk reportedly owns a home like this that can be set up in just an hour, costing just under $50,000. The company behind it is called Boxable, and it wants to change the way we think about housing. Boxable's founder, director and founder, Galliano Terramani, joins us now from Las Vegas. Thanks for your time today. Hi there. Thank you so much for having me. All right. I want to get a little bit more on the specs here. Once this thing is set up, how do you get services in? Where's the plumbing? And, and about that concrete slab that it sits on, how does it get there? Yeah, so our first product is actually a, a 20 by 20 room, like kind of a little studio apartment with a kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and couch. It deploys in just about an hour. And the idea is that our product would dramatically reduce the cycle time for builders and developers. So instead of having you know six months to build a building, they can just prep the site with utilities and foundation and deploy our room that's fully finished from the factory in just you know a few hours. And by doing it this way, we think we're gonna be able to dramatically lower the, the cost and time to build houses. And that concrete slab, is it, how does that come into play here? Well, actually our rooms don't need a foundation or they are compatible with any different foundation type. And really at Boxable, we have just a new way to build that is uh, better, lower cost. And we are mm -hmm. actually mass producing these buildings in a factory uh, the, like, like the factory behind me right here. I want to talk about the price because I understand the starting price is $50,000 for one of these. The website now saying, though, the price of what's known as a casita on a case-by-case -case basis. Is this because of inflation, that building materials cost more, and so the, the price is really uncertain? Well, the real reason is we've seen such incredible interest and demand in the product. So now the wait list has over 130,000 names on it of people that want to buy a casita. So we're working as, as fast as we can, as hard as we can to scale up uh, this first factory, which we set up just a year ago. We now have a second factory next door that we'll be moving into in a few months. And we're working on a third factory that's hopefully going to be a billion dollar factory that's going to allow us to meet some of this huge demand. But the idea with the price is, uh, with 130,000 names on the wait list, we don't know when we're going to be able to deliver you your house. So we thought it made sense to just kind of pull the price because, of course, inflation, things are changing. And then also to the prices is shipping. You can ship anywhere in the world, but it's 3 to $10 a mile. So a little rough math, if I ordered one from Las Vegas to New York, so that's 2,522 miles. At $3 a mile, it's 7,500 on top of that. But it could go as high as $25,000 to ship. So um, that, that's on top of the price, right? Yeah, our initial order when we set up this factory was to Florida for 150 houses. So we shipped them all there. I believe it was under 10,000 to ship each house over to Florida. And the idea here is that since our houses do fold up, uh, shipping is uh, dramatically less than a comparable modular home, which ships as a, a wide load and costs a lot of money. So what that's gonna do is allow us to scale up manufacturing so that hopefully we can you know, kind of mass produce these the same way we mass produce automobiles and dramatically, you know, push the price down. So you see most car factories producing one house, one mm -hmm. car per minute. We'd like to produce one house per minute in our factory. What about where you put the house? You have to obviously own the land. And if you don't own the land, you have to have zoning, right? Yeah, we have all kind of different uh, use cases for these buildings. The original idea was accessory dwelling units. So uh, backyard houses in places like California, where they've actually kind of legalized putting a backyard house in almost every backyard in the state. So uh, in that case, you know, you're just going to deploy one in the backyard of an existing house. Uh, but you can do other things too, like build a little village of them or just do a new uh, development or a vacation rental. Uh, what we're producing here are rooms and they can also stack and connect. And the plan is that these will go far beyond the tiny house will end up with a building system where we kind of mass produce different size rooms with different interiors and can build most different building types on the planet, whether it's a traditional single family or a big, you know, thousand unit multifamily apartment building. Very quickly, I'm curious because I know you've done business with the U.S. government. Any any idea about doing business with cities and housing the homeless? 30 seconds. Yeah, we have. Uh, 
Yeah, we have a huge amount of interest coming from all over uh, different governments, local governments, and we're working with uh, a bunch of different places to get this housing out there to hopefully increase supply of housing, therefore lower the cost of housing and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, maybe help the homeless. All right, Galliano Terramani, thanks so much uh, for coming on the show today. These look kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you. That's it for the show. I'm Allison Kosick. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Allison Kosick. Thanks for joining us. Connect the World is next. I'll see you tomorrow.